Good afternoon. I'm Skip Conover, and Colleen Kiebeer and I are going to announce a project that we want to do with you over the next month before the election on the collective unconscious and participation mystique. And the way this will work is we're asking you to submit works of art to us that you're going to prepare on a regular basis between now and election day. Let me introduce Colleen about what we're trying to do and then I'll talk about the nuts and bolts at the end. So we're talking about doodling, drawing, uh, drawing from the unconscious. Why? Why is it important to do this? I've been thinking, um, what if you only had half a deck of cards? What if you only had half the tarot cards? It's like we as a nation have been only dealing with half a deck. We've been developing our intellect and our consciousness through the human potential movement, through all of the scientific, the technology that we've accomplished, done a very good job of it, but it is time for us to begin to develop our unconscious, to get in touch with it and give it our attention because we can have an influence on that collective. My way of doing that is to take the doodle very seriously. You might not consider yourself an artist, but the time has come for all of us to consider ourselves creative. So the way we do this in my studio is to begin with just the simple line of a doodle and then another line of the doodle and to see how that can come together or to begin with a mandala, the line of the mandala. We as human beings have been doing that mandala and the circle with it. On the cave walls, we've been doing this for eons. This oh in, my God. <gasps> this is in Kimberley, Australia. And it's, oh. it's 50,000 years old. Oh, Skip. So I will, uh, I'll put that in there. And it's time for us to get back in touch with the wisdom that comes from engaging that part of ourselves. One other thing to the point, David Attenborough and the work that he's doing right now, uh, his deep, deep concern about what is happening to the planet. And I saw a beautiful little piece interview with him uh, by Anderson Cooper on 60 Minutes Sunday night in which um, David Attenborough said that we've developed the intellect, we've, we've done that, uh, and we can save this planet. We know how to do it. Now it's time for us to get in touch with our wisdom. Right. That's, that's what's lagging, and the wisdom rests in our collective unconscious. Colleen, would you give us an example of a doodle so that we know what you're talking about? Here's, uh, here's one that I did uh, upon the inspiration of the rising feminine at this time. At the end of this video, there will be a short documentary video of Colleen uh, doing doodles. And so we're inviting you to do them every day or as often as you can between now and November 3rd, 2020. And what we would like you to do is submit three, the three that you think are best and the th three that you think say the most about the times or the day of the, the day that it happened. Please note their date and send them to skip.conover at gmail.com. You can find my email address in the description of this video. And so before election day, send me up to three and with your name and your email address, obviously. And I will uh, put together PowerPoint. And then on the 7th of November, you will have an opportunity to present your three plus between election day and the 7th of November, we'd like you to submit one more, which has your reaction to the election results. 
and I will put those four images together in a PowerPoint and each person who submits will have an opportunity during our presentation on November 7th to discuss what was happening in their psyche when they, they did these doodles. I might add, if they could give a title to yes. each drawing, that would be very helpful. Great. So if you would uh, put the date and the title uh, on, the, on the actual name of your JPEGs, that would be helpful and also your name. And then during our Zoom conference on November the 7th, each person who submits will have an opportunity to talk about their, the three that they thought are the best, or the four, counting the post-election one. And then we'll wrap that up with Colleen's help. She's a lifelong artist and very accomplished one. And the um, introducing me, I also have my master's in psychology. So we're going to be talking about the collective unconscious, about participation mystique, about art, art and artistry, and about the shadow. Certainly the shadow is going to come up because it's already come up in some of mine. <laughs> and we're going to have world-renowned artist Tim Holmes with us, who will also be presenting. So we look forward to sharing that with you on November the 7th, and I will send you the Zoom links if you join our activity. We look forward to seeing you then. So, so I'm thinking about the feminine and the feminine entering the uh, scene now. And so I'm just going to do a doodle about, you're just going to have the feminine in mind and I'm taking a breath. And then slowly let my breath out. with that one stroke. Now I'm going to switch hands and see what happens if I go with my left hand now. There. Hmm. I like the the circle. I think I want to do something about building a mandala into this. I want it to be open to the world. And coming out. I mean, it gets bigger as it goes out. Now I feel like changing colors. I'm going to use my red pen. Oh, and I want to make this really, this dynamic really important. How interesting. I forgot to do that part of it. I wonder what that's about. I'm just, I'm just going to go with that. I um, feel like this kind of fire is needed from the feminine collective and maybe it maybe it can even weave in and out here like this like it goes through here and goes through here and maybe it even shows up here <laughs> in this kind of nautilus that's coming out like this. Now I want to emphasize that which is being sent out to the world here. And up here seems important to do five up there. I want to make that even stronger. like that. And make this line 
a little bit more. Oh, connects into there. And finds itself back over here again. That's interesting, so now I want to do it there too. And this is how the doodle starts to build. I like it. I like it just the way it is. Maybe a little exclamation mark here and there <laughs> about what's important here. What's important here coming through and here. Now I had just done this one before and when I got here, I started thinking about, oh, the feminine, whoops, supposed to be red. Feminine, that's the feminine right in the center of the mandala. Maybe there's a way that we can actually invite the fire of the feminine to be more active. We sure do have to get the women to vote that we can activate the feminine fire. This really needs to be done with something brighter. You know, and there we go. That's better. Like that. And then it goes out into the world stronger. Yes, I like it even better. <laughs> I feel more connected to what's going on when I'm able to do something about it. People say, oh, I want to be able to do something about what's happening. Well, maybe I can send some strong feminine energy out into the world right now, and we're needing it so much. And it comes from a very basic deep source, our nautilus. Isn't that interesting? Out here, that line just kind of wanders around, but now it's taking on more form. It's like the line of the nautilus finds its way back in so that it has more form and more strength. Ta-da! Enter the feminine.